The title of Tony Holland's poem Why I Like Hospital might sound strange to you. After all, hospitals are typically places associated with pain, illness, and sometimes heartache. So why does the poet claim to like such a place and what can we learn from his perspective? Hi everyone, this is Roni Datta from OnlineFinos.com. Before we begin the discussion, if you are looking for questions and answers related to this poem, check out the description or visit our website OnlineFinos.com where we provide solutions for different subjects of different classes across different boards in India. With that being said, let's jump into the poem. The poem Why I Like Hospital by Tony Holland begins in a strange way with a slightly funny remark. It is okay to be upset in a hospital, but not anywhere else. As soon as you enter through the car park and take the lift with others, it feels a bit depressing. Everyone's looking at the dull, brownish yellow lift doors, as if they are in a jail. This atmosphere of sadness is not desirable or expected anywhere else, except in a hospital. The poet notes that the hospital is the only place where people are free to express their feelings openly. You can sense the pain and suffering of different patients. A mother with cancer who is unsure about how to share with her children the news of her serious disease. A young lady who has lost her hair and feels sad, staring at the small tube above her removed breast. An old woman who is walking with an IV stand. The poet mentions he dislikes certain things about the hospital, like the strong smell of antiseptics, the too cold air from ACs running at high speed all night and flowers being kept aside without any care. In other words, the entire environment of the hospital smells of indifference and insensitivity. But there are things that he does like in the hospital. He appreciates seeing some people jotting down in their diaries the good and bad actions they have done in their lives. He also likes how every sick person reflects on their loneliness and waits endlessly for a close person to give some encouraging word. The poet particularly highlights a seriously impatient who is crying openly without any shame, showing his feelings of powerlessness and anger. It is like he is comforting himself by holding his own hands in sympathy and talking to himself. This paints a troubling picture of a society that lacks compassion for people who are dying. The key message of the poem is about the importance of expressing our emotions freely which is generally avoided in today's society. The poem seems to suggest that suppressing our feelings can lead to negative outcomes. Strangely enough, people are often praised for not showing their emotions. If you are in pain, you are expected not to cry in front of others. If you are happy, you are not supposed to laugh too loud. The hospital is the only place where it is okay to express our true feelings without feeling embarrassed. That is why the poet says he likes the hospital, even though it is not a place most people enjoy. When the poet is in the hospital, he notices that nobody seems bothered by seeing patients who are unhappy or down, even when a patient who is not going to get better expresses their sadness loudly, nobody seems to mind. This leads the poet to question why it is acceptable to be upset in a hospital but not in other places, and why people should have to put on a fake smile and pretend to be okay in other situations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such videos. Do check out onlinefinotes.com and as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.